Welcome back to Jamstick Rear Diecast. Um, we got a few new things going on here. Uh, we got a new studio. Father's Day present, so I'm going going ahead right now and uh, giving it a shot. Got a nice automated rotary dish and a sweet setup here. So the very first car we're gonna do in this new look for the Jamstick Rear Diecast channel is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8 FQ400. Some of you might remember the Top Gear episode which featured one of these cars racing a Lamborghini Murcielago and the Murcielago could not outrun this car. Um, Otto came out with this car for the month of June. So as an Otto member, I was able to um, acquire this car uh, ahead of time and have it here for um, for you guys to look at. So right now I'm going to go ahead and stop the rotary dish. All right. So here we go. Get a nice little zoom in action here. So very nicely detailed car. You can see the nice Recaro seats inside. I think Auto Models did a fine job on that. When you look at the door mirrors, you can see the carbon fiber weaves on there as well. And even on the wipers, you'll see Rally Art, the little small Rally Art stickers on there. But not bad, especially for the price. Right now you can still get one of these for the low hundreds. So if you're an Evo collector, um, this would be one you'd want to get. So I think Auto is the only one with this FQ400 model. So I'll rotate the dish and to the side and um, you'll be able to see the the uh, 17 inch wheels that are on there. Now these these wheels are, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the brand. Oh, I think it's, uh, I can't remember the name, but when it, if it comes to me, I'll, I'll I'll get back to you on that. But the one thing I noticed on this on this model, and my guest presenter here will actually turn the car. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Look at the spoiler. That's the only fault I see. Like Evo 8 spoilers don't have that little bulge on the side. So I don't know if that's a design um, piece that somebody overlooked, or they pr they probably try to get it more sturdy. But auto models. Um, this might be your first CT9A model, so they're, they're, they haven't really mastered how to do the spoiler, it seems like, because Auto Art has done several of them and they, they came out nicely. So yeah, the badging, if you look, let's see, you can look at the mirror. The exhaust looks aggressive, just like the real car. Um, the badging on the trunk looks amazing as well so they did a good job so this car if you're not familiar with it the real car produces 405 horsepower and could apparently hit 60 miles per hour in about three and a half seconds with a top speed of around 175 miles per hour so the name of this color is called graphite gray um, the evo 8 mr in the United States and Evo 9s actually have this color as well so I used to own a graphite gray Evo 9 as well so anyway so here it is in its full glory you can go ahead and turn the rotary dish back on I think they did a fine job minus the spoiler on it but I highly recommend getting one of these because I'm sure it's gonna go up in price this is the only Evo 8 FQ 400 out there right now. Um, Evo 8 that is. There's an Evo 10 which I haven't added to the collection yet. But other colors that are available are white and red from Auto Models. So once again thank you for watching and see you next time.